Pareto chart is a basic quality tool that helps you identify the most frequent defects, complaints, or any other factor you can count and categorize. The chart takes its name from Wilfredo Pareto, originator of the 80-20 rule, which postulates that, roughly speaking, 20% of the people own 80% of the wealth. Or, in quality terms, 80% of the losses come from 20% of the causes. You can use a Pareto chart anytime you have data that are broken down into categories, and you can count how often each category occurs. Pareto charts are helpful analytical tools when you need to analyze frequencies or causes of problems. They also help narrow an approach for a problem that has many causes or is too broad to address in a single improvement project. Like the claims denials example in the last lecture, you can find a single cause to work on that can yield large results across the entire process. Pareto charts are also helpful when communicating information about causes to others, especially those outside of the Six Sigma process. Although Pareto charts are a powerful analytical tool, they also represent complex data in a visual format that is familiar to most anyone. Business professionals know how to read a bar chart, and putting the chart in order only makes it easier for individuals to see the true causes behind issues. For this reason, many Six Sigma experts regularly include Pareto charts when presenting to business leaders and others, especially if the data might be considered surprising or need visual reinforcement. We will learn in depth how to create all the different charts related to Six Sigma methodology in our advanced tutorials on Excel and Minitab.